Hi guys, it's Gigi. Welcome back to my channel. So today I thought I would just sit down and play with makeup, but not just any makeup. Today I thought that I would sit down and specifically try YouTubers makeup. I have the Jeffree Star Conspiracy palette. I have the Mini Controversy palette. I have Tati's new makeup volume one. I have my makeup, which is available on ipsy.com. I have stuff from Hank and Henry, this dirty sponge. <laughs> I have stuff from Dragon Beauty. I have stuff from KKW beauty. Also, I feel like this might be my new favorite mirror. Ooh, hi. So obviously it goes without saying, all opinions are my own. I'm going out tonight. I wanted to do something really fun. I did a lot of pink. I did a little glitter. I did glossy lips, pink cheeks, tons of highlight. Oh, and also before we get into the tutorial, this is my first tutorial where I'm showing my hairline surgery. It's been a month. I'm still healing. I'm still recovering. If you guys didn't know, I got hairline surgery, which is like a hair transplant. Hair from the back of my head put over a scar that I had on my hairline. So it's a little bit red. Everything is going good it just looks a little crazy obviously I'm not going to put makeup on it because it is fairly new but she's healing she's recovering and she's been warned so without further ado if you would like to see how I achieved this look keep on watching all right so I am starting with a fresh face I just got out of the shower I put on my favorite Kiehl's moisturizer I have absolutely nothing else on I got a spray tan a few days ago so I'm looking a little blotchy but that's fine because we are about to beat this face. I'm going to go in with this primer I've been loving. This is the Cream Shop's I Am Silky Matte Primer and Setting Spray. Ooh, and I almost dropped it. They have a dewy one as well, but I love the matte one and I love the smell. Then I'm going to take this new sponge by Hank and Henry. It is in this gorgeous chartreuse color. The shape of it is so cute. It's so easy to bounce on your face, get the foundation in there, and then also get right up under the eye. I'm obsessed with this. I'm obsessed with his brand. This is my Studio Fix Fluid in NC, well, I'm mixing NC42 and NC38. I've loved this stuff forever. I think it's just so full coverage. It's matte. Modifying. It used to break me out. I literally just did like six pumps. That's kind of a lot. Now I just use it whenever I'm going out. I know I'm going to get my picture taken. Oh my God. This literally gets me every single time. It looks like I'm doing Oompa Loompa makeup, but it will all be cute. And I'm wearing bangs today, so I have no idea why I'm doing my forehead, but let's just go for it. For concealer, I'm going to go in with the Makeup Forever Full Cover. It is waterproof. I literally just go in with a little half moon shape like that. Moving on to setting powder, the only thing I have here is the Airspun. I love this stuff. I've heard that you're not supposed to put it close to your eyes because it is so fragranced, but it's the only thing I have down here and I don't want to go upstairs to go get something else. I'm lazy. So I'm just going to set that with the Hank and Henry sponge. And I love how pointy this is. It literally gets right up against your nose, right under your eye. And I personally like a lot of powder. Like I can never really get enough. I love just the super matte, matte, matte face. So I'm just gonna set all over. Before we move on to the eyes, I'm going to be applying the Shane Dawson Diet Shane Lip Balm. And I've actually not, ooh, I've actually not tried this. I'm really excited about it. Oh yeah, it does smell like root beer. Oh my God, that's crazy. I won't lie, I feel like it could be a little bit more like slippery. I don't know if it's gonna be super, super hydrating, but it did come off a little dry to me. I don't know if it's because my lips are just really dry or what, but. Yeah, I feel like I like mine better, to be honest. But I love the smell. I think that's super dope. So for the eyes, I'm so excited to dive into the Conspiracy Palette from Jeffree Star Cosmetics. I've used this once. And the time I used it was a super, super natural day. So I'm excited to go in today. I think I might just match my nails. This is the trans flag, if you guys didn't know. The attention to detail is so impressive and I just love this. I'm just like, oh, how did they do this? It's so gorgeous. I'm gonna go in with a little bit of pigment. I know a lot of people were saying that there was a lot of fallout with these shadows. Oh my God, that's so pretty. Oh my God, I'm dying. A little bit darker than I thought. But I feel like, honestly, the softest shadows that blend really really easily just are my favorite like I feel like these shadows are very comparable to like Anastasia Beverly Hills I'm not really bothered by it at all <sighs> easy as that 
So, I'm obsessed with this pigment. And I am so, so happy for Shane. Personally, he's always been so nice to me. I know you guys know, in the past we've done videos and I played like the high school bitch Regina George in I Hate My Selfie. Little did I know it was gonna be so major and still something I think about today and I just love him and he's such a sweetheart. So. Uh, uh, what are you doing? Signing us up for the musical. Duh. Can you not read? <sighs> no, I just... <gasps> Wait, is it your diabetes? Is it affecting your vision? Nurse! Nurse! Stay with me! Remind me why you wanted to hang out again. Ugh, how many times are we gonna have to go over this? It's because you're fat and you're ugly and you make me look hotter by comparison. Oh, okay. <coughs> ah, Jesus. I'm actually gonna bring that down on the same brush underneath my lash line. Next, I'm gonna go in with a little bit of Trisha. This is like a hot shimmery pink and just go on the outer edge of my eye. Pigment, I feel like went on a bit darker than I thought. This one is pure Trisha. Yeah, and see, like these are blending so easily. I just love how buttery and gorge they are. And I'm just taking that brush that I went in with pigment so he doesn't have any rough edges. He's all smooth. I'm so intrigued by this color Ranch. I love a palette with a white and I love a palette with a black. I'm just gonna be packing that on the first half of my lid. Oh my God, this is so pretty, I love this. I'm gonna take that same brush and go in to What's the Tea? This one looks extremely matte, which I'm not mad about. Okay, and if you ever have fallout, like I literally have right here, I don't take a brush, I don't do anything. All I literally do is blow up. I go, <sighs> and it gets rid of it. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a little brush like this and go in with Not A Fact. And honestly, on me, I like a cut crease that's a little bit round like this. It kind of gives that more dramatic illusion. So I'm gonna take the same brush and go under the eye with not a fact, just kind of marry the two colors, the purple and the pink. Before we go any further, I'm gonna be taking a black eyeliner, which is waterproof from Lee Boitier. So now moving on to Tati Beauty Volume 1 Eyeshadow Palette. I have been loving this stuff. Obviously, my personal palette is so dirty. I've been traveling with this. I've been using this. I love the layout. I love how there's mattes, there's sequins, there's glitters, there's metallics. It's just such a great format, and the formula is to die for. So I'm going to be going in with this glitter, one that I've already hit pan on as well. This one kind of just sparkles every single color. I think that it would look gorgeous over the blue. What I'm going to do is literally just press my finger in it, but you see how it's coming off, and then literally just press it onto my eyelid, and I feel like that just amps up any eye look. You know what? Just to pack it on there, I'm going to be taking the Anna brush from Hank and Henry and spraying it with some all-nighter from Urban Decay and getting that on the brush. Okay, so I kind of went ham with that and really you can't see any of the blue anymore, but that's fine. At least we know it's there. I am obsessed with that glitter though. I think it looks so pretty. I'm gonna go in with the Hank and Henry Slick With It Eyeliner. I love this stuff. It's so easy to apply. I'm just gonna do a little wing for the lashes to sit on. Okay, and by little, I obviously meant humongous. These are actually new lashes I've never tried by Unscripted Beauty. Crispy, here on YouTube, sent them to me, and I'm really excited. They look super, super fluffy and gorgeous, so I'm gonna apply these, and I will be right back. 
All right, lashes are on. I did mascara and I look crazy without my brows. So I'm gonna go in with the Benefit Brow Styler, which has two ends. One is a pencil and one is powder. I am using shade number two today. Now the pencil part of this is super major, but the powder is what I'm obsessed with. And I've actually been somewhat into lighter brows recently. I mean, we all know I used to be obsessed with the dark. And the other side of this is a little bit of powder. What I do, is I just take it out of the container and take it on a little angled brush. All right, now I'm gonna take the 24 hour brow setter from Benefit and just brush it up to make sure all the hairs are standing straight up like they've just been electrocuted. Now that the brows are on, I'm gonna go in with a little bit of ranch and just highlight underneath my brow bone just to tie that look together. Now time to bronze and sculpt my face. I'm actually gonna start with brightening and then I'm gonna go in with the bronzing. I'm gonna take the Dragon Beauty Dragon Heart Transformation Face Powder. And I'm gonna take both shades of that and pop it right under my eyes. This stuff is hella brightening. And Nikita, whose brand Dragon Beauty is, has such a distinct look. Like you can tell her under eyes are always bright. She always has a really nice contour, a really nice bronzer face. So I use this stuff when I want that super bright under eye. Like tonight, I'm gonna be going out, definitely gonna be taking a lot of photos. And I just love that look where it's like, you just bright ass under eye. Moving on, I'm gonna take my six sculpt bronzer duo in turnt and extra. This is the duo. I'm gonna go in with both of those colors and then sweep that underneath my cheekbone. I love this product because it is so matte and it really does just warm up your face. I take it underneath my chin and instead of contouring my nose with creams, I literally just take a little bit of that bronzer and dust it over like the natural contour of my nose because I feel like it gets lost with the foundation and the powder just to give it a little bit more definition. For highlight, I'm going to be taking Manny's highlight from his brand Lunar Beauty in shade Venus. I've used this literally once before. It's kind of like a bronzy highlight. I forget how it applies, so we shall see. Oh my God, bitch, what? I guess we're doing a highlighted look today. Oh my God, I forgot blush. Are you kidding me? <gasps> What am I gonna do? I am obsessed with this blush from KKW. This is her blush in Flower Wall from the Wedding Collection. It is the blush I used on my wedding. Well, one of the blushes I'm sure we layered, but it is such a pretty pink. It is super sheer. So you kind of do have to use a lot, especially with a look like this. So I'm gonna be taking my brush, the gorgeous blush brush, and just applying it to the apples of my cheeks. Like, see, I'm like literally not even dabbing any off. I'm literally just packing it on. I love this brush because I feel like it just like disperses the product back because it is angled. I don't know, I just love it so much. And for this, I'm going to just take the blush up almost under my eyes. I'm obsessed with that look. I feel like it just brings life back into your face. I actually like how the highlight looks underneath the blush. I think it looks really pretty. I'm gonna take the Patrick Ta Precision Lip Crayon in She's Humble and line my lips. But first, I'm going to scrub off anything that's on them. There is nothing worse than a cakey lip when you're about to put something on it. Mm -mm. Powder them a little bit, just to blank them out. Okay, so now that that's on, I'm going to go back into the Conspiracy collection and go in with a shade. Oh my God, it's the one shade that's not here. Are you kidding? I was gonna say I wanna go in with Ryland. <laughs> That's so sad. Whoever stole it, I will find you. I guess we're gonna go in with the Oh My God, which is this baby pink. If we're gonna go do a baby pink look, we're just gonna do a baby pink look. I usually don't wear colors like this. This is fucking pink. Maybe I'll just tap that in there a bit. Okay, are we feeling this? I'm like, is this too pink? I don't know. Now we're gonna go in with the gloss, which is called Shane Glosson, which is such a cute name. I can't wait to smell this. Oh my God. Okay, this is like pure A&W root beer. Okay, this lip gloss is literally everything. I feel like I'm gonna eat it. I'm obsessed. Okay, let me spray myself once more. That is the look, and we are all done. 
All right, guys, that was all for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed this look. Let me know any other looks or any other products, YouTuber or not, that I should try out. But until I see you guys next time, stay gorgeous.